my time. How to transition smoothly from chest voice to head voice. Doo Hi folks, I'm Boba. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer and this is my channel about anatomical vocal training. Many folks have a difficulty to transition from head voice to chest voice or from chest voice to head voice. Now, the very first thing in order to heal that, in order to advance with your transitions between head voice and chest voice that I suggest people is to change your definition of head voice and chest voice. In this video, I explain in depth what I mean when I speak of head voice and chest voice. It is not what you are used to if you have never watched this channel before. Because how I define head voice and chest voice and the difference between head voice and chest voice is the activity or passivity of one muscle. And if you see it like this, if you see that head voice and chest voice can work or be in your voice at the same time because it is one more muscle that is active in chest voice than that is active in head voice. And if you see it that way, then you will understand that both of them can live at the same time in your voice and it will become more like a fader rather than a switch. What do I mean with that? When you have a switch, you it's either on or off. It's no gray zones. It's black or white, on or off right or left, right? But if you see it as a fader from head voice to chest voice, then you will understand that you can fade in chest voice into head voice and then fade it out again. But the head voice, um, we, uh, we also use uh, like an avocado, right? Like the, the chest voice is like the core in the middle and the head voice is the flesh of the avocado in all around because the head voice is kind of like bigger than the chest voice. You have more range always in your head voice than in your chest voice. If you don't, you will most likely lose range. So always train at least a fifth um, of head voice as is explained in this playlist in depth. Because you want to always keep the head voice, the stretching of your voice stronger than the chest voice. However, if you see it as muscle action, um, fading in and out, using more of the chest voice muscle, less of the chest voice muscle, then it became easy, becomes easy. Then it becomes like a fader. You move more in, you move more out, but it's not a switch anymore. You don't have to transition like rapidly anymore. You can gently fade it in. And obviously that's a process and uh, you have to practice it, right? But it's very liberating to understand you need to change your understandings, right? You start with changing your understandings of your voice and then everything else will fall into place with a little patience and persistence. No, nope, with a lot of patience and persistence because I'm doing this channel for professionals, right? I'm not here for people who just want to sing a little better than they sing. I'm here for people who use a voice as their instrument for their life, for their income. So that is very important that you understand all of what I'm doing on my channel is very, very particular. It's very, very um, going into details. Uh, it's for professionals, right? When you're at a set, certain level already and then you want to go just through the roof, that's what you're doing with these exercises. So in order to really heal the chest voice, head voice, relationship that you have within your body firstly you need to mend your aliquot division or rather you need to get rid of aliquot divisions vocal cord shortenings which i explain in depth in this video and have your voice become one again have your vocal cords stretch um, all the sounds throughout your entire range healthily again and that will already do a lot for your voice and then um, you will start to not only understand mentally, but experience physically what it means to have one voice. What it means, why my definition is um, chest voice is this one activity of this one more muscle rather than on and off switch, right? Why it's, it feels like a fader for people who can really 
pull their vocal cords long and it's not like a switch because often the aliquot division is the thing that makes people think it was a switch because they have to kind of really switch gears in order to go from what they perceive as head voice which is it is not it's falsetto and i make the difference clear in this video to transition from falsetto to chest voice you literally have to flip a, a switch but if you go from head voice my definition of head voice pulling the full vocal cords long to a chest voice then it can be a fader and that is also a very good indication that you are using actually head voice and not falsetto which i explained in depth in this video if this content gives you anything please let me know in the comments subscribe to my channel uh, i'm getting out more content and i hope to see you sometime soon on this channel Want to learn how to do these things that I talk about in my videos? YouTube is great, but a course with an actual methodology is the thing that will give you real results. I have a course called Vocal Foundation on my website. I created a free tour where you can learn the what, why, who, how, and the content, the benefits, the finances, prerequisites, everything about the course. So if you're eager to get your voice to the next level, follow the first link in the description and sign up for my Vocal Foundation free tour.